Hey, my name's Bob Cooper. I'm a record producer and mixer, and I am going to talk to you about a new sample pack I've created. Um, so this sample pack is built from this massive entrance hall in the studio, um, in the studio building, should I say, because it's, it's shared with some other people. And every day when I walked in, I was like, man, this room's so cool. It's like double height, ceiling, it's like A-frame, it's awesome but I could never use it because people were around. And then the lockdown happened, so I was like, right, here's my chance. I can make some samples in here. And I am blown away with how it sounds. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so what I will do is I'll show you an example of um, some, some natural drums without these samples, and then we'll add them in. And then um, we'll take a look at the individual ones and what we've done here. So here's the drums. <laughs> And that sounds good um, for a lot of records, you know, for an indie rock kind of record, that sound great. But if we wanted more excitement and space, this is where these samples come in handy. So I'll play that again and then I'll add in the samples. So it's created a lot more um, space around the snare a little more depth in the in both the kick and the snare actually and it gets even more exciting if I so I've sent these to a parallel chain as well some parallel compression uh, it gets even more exciting there so let's take a look at these samples um, I have built the the pack to be pretty pretty versatile um, I tend to do a lot of different snare tunings uh, in my productions, so I wanted to create a pack that, that I could use in, in my work. Um, so I've got the low dead snare, which is the one that I've been using here. So we've got three samples here. We've got um, a top mic. We have our mono room. And we have our stereo room. But we've also got some other options. We've got um, a mid tuning with both ring and dead. So let me show you. Let's have a listen to both. So here is the ringy and mid. But hey, what if we're making a record that needs a more dead, but a dead snare, but in that same tuning? There we go. What if we've got a higher record? And I find, I always found. Um, Getting high tuned samples tricky to find. Um, so here we are. Here we've, we've got the high and dead. And then we've got a high and ringy. Here, there's a lot we can do within that. If I um, if I put the drums on again, we can we can tailor the size of the space. Um, so that's the snare, and then the kick. The kick is a single microphone, um, a single drum, sorry, a single instance, and it's just it's the same way of the kick in, kick, uh, mono kick and hall, <coughs> and stereo hall, sorry. Um, this is because I have one kick drum that I basically use for almost all my records. It's a, a Ludwig Classic Maple um, 24 by 16 from the 70s, and it sounds absolutely fantastic, and it's the main kick I use. It's the main kick I'm going to make a sample of. Um, so here's a little look at this. So again, there's a lot of flexibility in um, how big we can make it. So, for example, I guess a slower song would probably we could bring out more of this length here. or in a kind of more rock song, we may want those rooms to be a little quiet. So 
So there we go. There is um, one kick with three different microphone options and then five different snare sounds with um, three different microphone options. Hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.